Okay, question number two from January 2016, International A-Level, um, about momentum and impulse. Two particles, P and Q, are moving in opposite directions along the same horizontal straight line. Okay. So you have... Oops. You have a straight line. You have P and Q. Um, let's say... Whoa, something's not going right here. Okay, let me just get this pen sorted out. Okay, so you have P and Q. Let's say that's P, let's say that's Q. Okay, um, particle P, P is moving due east. Oops, I, well, that's, that works out good. East is that way and west is that way, so that's fine. Okay, particle P has a mass of 2m. And particle Q has a mass of 3m. P is moving in this direction, Q is moving in this direction, east and west. The particles collide directly. Immediately before the collision, the speed of P, P is for you. So this is before. This is for you. And the speed of Q is just you. All right. The magnitude of the impulse in the collision is 33 over 5. So we got to find the speed and direction of P and of Q basically after the collision. So we need to find what is happening here and here. We don't know what's happening, which way they're going. We, we don't know. Okay, we're not sure what's happening after. Or do they move in the same direction? Do they reverse directions? But we've got to find what happens. Now, they didn't tell us about the speeds after the collision. So some people think, oh, how are we going to do this? Because we use the conservation of momentum, that the momentum before is equal to momentum after. Well, we know the total momentum before, but we don't know anything about the momentum after in terms of we don't know any of the speeds. So how are we going to sort this question out? Well, they gave us another piece of information. They told us about the impulse. The magnitude of the impulse is given to us. So that should be a clue to us. So for P, if you think about P, okay, now you've got to decide which, which side is positive. I'm going to take um, this direction as positive. Okay, if I take that direction as positive, okay, so I'm, I'm dealing with part A now. If I take that direction as positive, then the impulse exerted on P, okay, of course, it's going to be in this direction, isn't it? The impulse is what causes it to change its direction. So the impulse is acting as a negative. So the, the sign of the impulse is minus 33 over 5 mu. That's the magnitude and the size of the impulse. Okay, so what we can do is we can say that the impulse is equal to the change in momentum, mv minus mu. Okay, so we know in this case that um, i is negative 33 over 5 and m is 2m and the speed after the collision is what we have to find which is a v and the speed before collision is positive for you so we were able to now solve this problem okay if we just expand this you've got minus 33 over 5 equals 2m v sorry what am i doing that's supposed to be minus 33 over 5 mu Sorry about that. That's called rushing. Okay, minus 33 over 5 mu is equal to that. Let me just get rid of this. Okay. So what we could do straight away is actually we could get rid of the m's because divide both sides by m. And we could divide both sides by 2 as well. So that will make life a bit easier. So have minus 33 uh, u over 10. And then I've got V minus 4U. That makes my life a bit easier. So sort of expanding the bracket. So now I can say V is equal to 4U minus 33U over 10. So the, the velocity of this going to be, that's 40 over 10 minus 33 over 10. 40 minus 3, 33 is 7. So it's 7U over 10. Okay, meters per second is the velocity of P after the collision. Okay, that's what we used. The con we used basically the fact that the impulse is 33 over 5, or negative 33 over 5, because impulse is what 
cause it to change direction. So impulse must be acting in that direction. And for Q, the impulse is going to be acting in this direction. And Q is moving in this direction. So although I'm not supposed to do, you're not supposed to really do what I'm going to do now in your real exam. The examiners don't like you to make two columns. They like you to continue on the next page. But I'm going to just make two columns for the sake of not having to keep going back and forth. All right, so um, basically here in this case, uh, the change of the, the impulse in this case for Q, if we consider Q, is positive 33 over 5 mu. Sorry, my pen is not working very well. It's positive 33 over 5 mu. See, my computer needs a restart. Okay, so we can say that the impulse is 33 over 5 mu. And that's equal to the change in momentum. Now, the mass of this is 3m this time. So you've got 3m. And the final velocity is what we have to find. And the initial velocity now is in the negative direction. So it's going to be minus, minus u. So it's going to be plus u. Okay, it's going to be plus u. All right, because it's, in the, it's, it's, it's going to be um, v minus, minus u. So the, the, the initial velocity is u here, so it's v plus u. Okay, so again, we can do a similar thing. If we divide both sides, well, we'll get rid of the m, divide both sides by m, divide both sides by 3, that will give you 11 over 5. u is equal to v plus u. So this time, your v for q is going to be 11 over 5u minus 1u. Minus u. So that's like... 11 over 5u minus 5 over 5u, which is 6 over 5u. Okay, so what we need to do here is to state the directions. Okay, so for this one, this is going to be, um, that's for, yeah, so it's going to be um, due east, because they told us the direction that was moving in the beginning was east, it's staying in the same direction. And this one is going to be also due east. They're both going to be due east because it's positive. And we took positive as east. So for both of them, they're due east. Sorry about the bad writing at the end. But that's uh, the answer to that question. The speed and direction of motion. Okay, they told us east. Yeah, so they're both going to be moving in the same direction that P was going. Okay, so they've hit each other and they haven't reversed directions. Q has reversed direction, but P is staying in the same direction as it was before. Okay, both going due east. Okay, so that's the answer to this question.